In this video, I'm gonna go over my TRD replica spoiler uh, for my 95 Toyota Supra. And this is something I purchased through a company called IBS, they're over in Russia. And I purchased this last summer, early fall. Um, it took four or five months to come in, given that it was, it was made to order. Um, and the reason I purchased this is I had tried two other TRD style spoilers and I wasn't quite happy with fitment, so I decided to give this one a try. And I think this is the one that I'm gonna go forward with. It's, it's the most true exact replica to the original TRD spoiler, and it, it seems to fit the best. And so in this video, I'm gonna give an honest review, go over all the different angles and areas of the spoiler, tell you why I like it, um, and, and give you my, my overall thoughts on it. Uh, so right off the bat, the thing I, I like most about this spoiler is it's very symmetrical. And what I mean by that is that the spacing and everything left to right is this, the same. You can see right here, there's a little bit of space here, a little bit of space here. If I hop over to this side, a little bit of space, a little bit of space. Um, the, the carbon edge here is, is nice and flat. If I show you on the top of the wing here, you can see that that side sticks up some. And it sticks up just about as much as this side. So it's very symmetrical. Uh, if I show you the side of the, the left over here, you've got a little space here. And I'm gonna hop over to the other side. It's the same on both sides. One of the, or, the earlier spoilers that I got, this front um, point was almost headed off the side of the, the hatch. Um, so I like how that is even. I'm gonna show you how it is very parallel to, to the roof. It's, the blade is very straight. Um, both uprights seem to have the exact same lean on them. It's not lean one way or, or the other. Hop over to the front. And if I move the camera up and down, you can see the, the blade is very parallel to the roof line. So it's symmetrical, the blade is, is really level. It also contours to the hatch very well. So you can see it's got nice fitment around there. The back, the sides. On one of, one of the earlier spoilers kind of had like a, a hump to it. You could probably fit four or five playing cards under it. You could see light through it if you looked, if you looked at the right angle. Um, you don't see any light or anything through here. It, it fits very well to the hatch. Uh, the, it's got these side caps and these are actually held on um, with a stainless hardware. The original TRD spoiler had some plastic uh, push pins that you could get, which they do sell it like that as an option. You can also get this in carbon if you want instead of fiberglass. I think you can even get the sides in carbon if you want. Um, but I like the stainless hardware. Um, I figured some kind of plastic push pin. Uh, I don't know if like the sun would break it down over time and it'd, it'd wanna fall off or anything like that. So I chose the stainless hardware. I've got this. Um, cap off so I could show you the inside. So there's like a channel in here and it's got these plates that fit into it and they've got different holes so you can take these out and flip them around if you wanna change the, the angle of this uh, deck lid um, or you can keep them just as it is. Uh, and I'm told the original TRD spoiler also has something like this so that's probably the reason uh, why they did that. Grabbing the the cap here. So this is the, the cap, it's fiberglass, and it's got a, a contour to it. It's, it's actually molded this way. It's not just a piece of flat fiberglass that kind of um, bends as you tighten it. Uh, the other spoiler I got, it was a piece of flat carbon, um, and it you'd, you'd have to kind of screw it in, and it'd, it'd bend to the right angle. Um, but I like how this is, is pre-shaped. There's no stress or anything like that on it. Um, and it, the inserts for those bolts, uh, they're, they're right here, so it, it threads in like a bolt. Um, it's, it's not just like a hole drilled in the fiberglass or like a, a wood screw or machine screw. 
um, holding this on. So you can put this on and off as many times as you want and it's not gonna wear out uh, that hole as if it had been drilled into straight fiberglass. Uh, so let's take a look. Um, oh, before I, before I do that, uh, one, one more thing about this is that it's two halves that are sandwiched together and these bolts that go through it, um, there's this layer and the layer on the other side and there's, there's a, a gap in between them. Uh, so if I was to take this bolt out, that gap in between them is, is actually solid. On one of the other spoilers uh, that I had, that gap in between, you take this bolt out, you'd, you'd see air in between the two pieces. So that meant when you're trying to tighten uh, this, this uh, blade in, it'd kind of want to crush that, that air gap. There'd be some bounciness to it. This is nice and solid, um, and, and that's how I like it. So it's, it's made really well uh, right there. So now I'm going to open it. And these are the, the studs inside. So the original TRD spoiler used studs, uh, I'm told. The original spoiler that came on this car used 10 millimeter bolts uh, that go through the other direction. These are like 12 millimeters, so the studs a lot thicker than the OEM hardware. And it's the same on both sides. And I didn't have to drill anything. I didn't have to elongate any holes or anything like that. Um, so dis despite the thicker uh, bolt, it just dropped right in. Um, and these, these, uh, these are magnetic. So they said everything was stainless, um, but these, these are magnetic. Maybe there's some stainless that is magnetic. Uh, they're not rusty or anything like that, um, which, which I'm happy with. Uh, these inserts that I just called out, a magnet also sticks to them, and, and again, not rusty. Uh, the other spoiler that I got, um, it used screws here, so there's no inserts. Uh, but underneath it, it had inserts, and those inserts were just caked full of, full of rust. I don't know if it's because the resin is kind of wet when they put it in, um, but I had to uh, tap all of the holes to, to get the rust out, and I put some grease up in the threads. Uh, so this, this is much better. There's no rust or anything like that. They said they're stainless. Maybe, maybe they're not. Maybe they're like zinc coated um, or, or something, or maybe they're stainless and a, a magnet just does stick uh, to some types of stainless, I'm, I'm not an expert at it. Uh, but no rust, all the thread holes were, were clean, um, everything threaded in easily. Um, the, the lid itself, I did the weave all in one direction, uh, but they do offer it two different ways. Uh, they can have the weave go in two different directions and meet in the center if you'd like. It's really just a preference. Um, I think it looks better going in one direction um, all of the weave is, is nicely laid out. Um, on one of the other spoilers, you could see where you, you could tell it had been pulled and snagged on something. Some of the, the weave was kind of went this way and then kinked over. It, it, it didn't look very well. Um, but this, this is laid out really nice. Um, even, even the underside uh, looks really good. Um, one of the other spoilers had some holes drilled in the underside on each side. And I don't know if that was for some kind of like water venting, or maybe it was just that way uh, for the manufacturing process. This, this doesn't have any holes in it whatsoever, aside for the studs um, to, to mount it on, on the end. So overall, uh, fitment, definitely very happy. It's, it's better than the other two. Um, it is about twice, this, twice the price of, of the other ones that I've tried. I, I think this was $1,700 uh, shipped, and that was last year before all of the inflation and stuff. It, it may be more now. Um, it did take several months to come in, uh, but it was winter more or less, so it wasn't a huge concern for me. It is gonna take um, some prep work uh, where this is fiberglass together. It's gonna take some sanding and smoothing out there. It's gonna take uh, some sanding around these edges. You can see it's, it's kind of tight fitting it, and as soon as you paint this, um, it's got to add thickness to that, and it may want to touch or bind, so I'm going to have to sand around the edges of these caps. But I'd say that's, that's expected. It's, it's kind of the body work that you'd expect when you buy something fiberglass. It's no big deal. There were no major fitment issues or anything like that. Um, I, I took it out of the box and pretty much bolted it right on. Uh, the, only, the only thing that, that kind of bugged me about it, and I've, I've taken care of it, is... 
uh, you can see right here, some fiberglass work has, has been done. The threads for that side cap, um, they weren't put in at a very, a very good angle for just, for just the stud. And you can see they've got these um, kind of coned washers so that if it's not quite, quite the right angle, um, that it'll, it'll help hide it. But this, this uh, bolt hole was like this almost. It was a very bad angle. Um, so I ground off the fiberglass on the front and I threaded a bolt into it and I was able to bend it to where it needed to go. Um, and then I added some fiberglass, haired fiberglass to the front. So now it's, it's the right angle and the, the gap doesn't look that bad. So you can see right here, um, it's a little tiny gap behind it, but it's not nearly as bad as that one was. And what I'll probably do is you can see the Allen head is it goes in a ways. Um, I may take these, these uh, bolts to like a, a bench grinder or a belt sander to take some material off the surface and that'll help the, the cone, I think, recess more into here. Um, then it, it, won't, it won't be as noticeable. Uh, but I do like the stainless hardware. I like that better than the plastic. Uh, so other than that, um, I'm, I'm extremely happy with it. I'm gonna work on the covers, get it all bolted together, and I'm gonna run it like this for the next few months. And as long as I don't have any issues with it or, or cracking or anything like that, I, I don't think I will. It thing is, is very solid. Um, I'll have it painted uh, probably this fall. I'm gonna do white, white sides, uh, white caps, and I'm gonna have this um, clear coated for UV protection. So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, if I had to rate this, uh, probably one, one out of 100, I'd, I'd probably give it like a, a 90, 95 um, now that I've, I've taken care of this. It, it may have gotten 85 uh, before that, um, but, but extremely pleased with how it came out. I'm gonna put a link in the description uh, to my website. I'm gonna do a blog post uh, where I share some videos of the other spoilers that I tried and, and some pictures uh, to, to kind of compare them and uh, sh show you the differences. Any questions, just ask. Thanks.